All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. All right, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Tamiyat. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, single citations to the elect. All right, honor brother Kwame Yashala from GMS Tampa Bay 07. Okay, and uh, just a quick article um, I just found through the Spirit. It was published June 30th, all right, uh, of this year. And today is um, July 2nd. Okay, this is um, a quick article. All right, I'm going to um, go through this article, hit a few points, grab a uh, few scriptures, and I'm going to close out through the Spirit and Power Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it says, North Korea believed to be deceiving U.S. increasing nuclear production report. All right, Lord's will, I, I'll play this video. I'll close out, you know, playing this video. But, um, you know, I read a few uh, a few things in here, man. And you can see uh, as as the day approach, all right, of the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay, who the nations will fight against and make war with the saints. All right, the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, is assembling these uh, uh, nations together against uh, America, man. All right, it's clear, man. All right, so I'm going uh, to read a few uh, points in this article. It says, um. U.S. intelligence officials believe North Korea has been deceiving the U.S., saying the Hermit Kingdom was bolstering production for nuclear weapons at multiple secret sites in the past few months, a reporter stated. It says officials from the CIA and other intelligence agencies told NBC News the regime has increased its production of enriched uranium for the weapons despite the historic summit earlier, right, because um. Uh, 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 Kim Jong Un and President DJ Trump, all right, they had a, a summit, you know, to uh, can to basically cancel out, you know, uh, basically denuclearization. Which uh, a little little farther in this article to bring it out, it says, um, the regime has increased its production of enriched uranium for the weapons despite the historic summit earlier this month between North Korea, North Korean leader Kim Jong Un and President Trump. Kim and Trump both signed a document on June 12th. All right, so this was last month. It says, stating that Panya, I don't know how to pronounce this, uh, Panya Ganyan would work toward complete denu denuclearization of uh, Korean Peninsula. It says, Trump said he would be ending joint military exercise between the U.S. and South Korea. All right, Khan, hey, and what does the scripture say about that? Now it says, complete denuclearization right but hold on let me grab a quick precept okay because the scriptures tell you okay i'm gonna just bring it out through, through the spirit and power you how about shimmy all right this is um this is uh first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child they shall not escape right because they say you know right now they're trying to you know basically you know, uh, say, you know, all right, let's, let's end, let's end, you know, this, um, you know, this war between us two. All right. Let's just go ahead and uh, sign a, a document. Okay. Complete denuclearization. All right. There's, uh, there's peace between us, but look, the scriptures say different, man. All right. Contrary to your belief, the Lord, you how about me? I was shy. All right. The scriptures tell you, matter of fact, let me grab it. Okay. Because this is not of man. This is of the most high. All right. In our power, Allah now, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. That's right. So these guys sitting here talking about, you know, all right, let's go ahead and sign a document, you know, and complete denuclearization. The scriptures say otherwise, man. All right. Okay. The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord, man. He whithersoever he ple it pleases him. Okay. And in it's time that you you nations understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, 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 is power, man. Okay, and he's the only power, all right. And that he judges, all right. And he judges in the uh, uh, in in the, in the kingdom of men. Okay, roughly the same. It says uh, Trump said he would be ending joint military exercises between the U.S. and South Korea. However, the officials believe North Korea was positioning itself to extract every concession it can from Trump administration. While clinging to nuclear weapons, it believes are essential to survival. That's right, man. Okay, because this this third hey, this third world war is going to be a fire. The scriptures tell you that. 
All right, and these other nations can see that uh, 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 so-called white man Esau Edom, all right, mainly here in America, okay, are trying to gain uh, 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 control over the whole world. Well, look, this it's not going to fly. Your new world order is, not, is going to come to naught. The scriptures tell you in the book of Job, the Lord shall rain it upon you while you is eating, man, which is, which is what? These thermonuclear missiles, man. These ICBMs from, from these other nations, uh, uh, slot, these other nations, all right? Intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Missiles coming from uh, uh, the other side of the world, man, okay? Uh, 200 million missiles, okay? Which is the army of the Lord, okay? All right? The scriptures tell you, how about me our shots, the Lord of hosts, okay? Uh, and, uh, uh, scriptures tell you, matter of fact, let me grab that in Isaiah, okay? Because you people are going to realize that this is this council is of the how about you shy. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9. It says, Associate yourselves, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces, and give ear all ye of far countries. That's right, North Korea, okay, uh, um, these, you know, um, Turkey, Russia, okay, these other nations of, of afar, right? It says, Gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Verse 10, that's the point. Take counsel together, and this shall come to naught. So the Lord said, take counsel together, which is what? They just wanted to have a, they had a summit, all right, on uh, June 12th. Okay, so what? They took counsel together, right? But this is what the scripture says. Take counsel together, and this shall come to naught. Okay, speak the word, and it shall not stand for you. How about you size with us, man? Okay, why? Because they're trying to come up against us. All these things are happening so that they can come up against the children of Israel, man. All right? But that is going to come to naught because the scriptures tell you in this last in this la in the last days that the Lord Yahushua Shai is going to lift up a standard, man. All right, Yahushua Shai is our power, man. He's going to fight for us, man. All right, and, de and defend the remnant of Israel, which is the elect. Okay. All right. It was one more I wanted to get in Isaiah. Um, yeah, through His Spirit. Let me grab this real quick too. All right, because you know. You people out here that, that don't believe in your help, or that there is a power, you're going to understand it after death by pain, man. And it's just simple as that. Okay, we out here to warn the people, man. All right, the scriptures say, I have set the watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. This is Isaiah chapter 40, 55, slot 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth the instrument of his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. That's right, which is these, the, these missiles, man. Okay, all right. So the Lord created these missiles, man. Okay, and He created this, the the scientists to to ha to create the uh, uh uh the missile, man. All right, so that it can uh, uh destroy you, Negro, you uh, two thirds of you Negro, Latino, and Native American Indians over here in America, and and um, mainly to wipe out the so called white man. All right, because you people are going to understand, man, that the Most High ruled within the kingdom of man. Okay, and that you cannot do anything, man. All right, this is all the will of the Lord. All right, so like I said earlier, it says uh, complete denuclearization, all right, of the Korean Peninsula, all right? That's, that sounds like they want to have peace, all right? But it's all to deceive the people, man. All right, so let me get to the point. I'm going to bring out another precept. Okay, through the Spirit and power, how about Shemia Oshai? Just something real quick through the Spirit. All right, I'm going to start from here. It says, it says, it says, Bruce Klingner. A former CIA analyst said the observed activity appears inconsistent with a North Korean intent to abandon its nuclear weapon programs. There seems little reason to continue expansion plans if the regimate intended to dismantle them as would be required under a denuclearization agreement, he continued. However, one official pointed out that despite the assessment, the talks between the U.S. and North Korea were positive in Kim's decision to destroy a major missile testing site and suspend nuclear and missile tests were a step forward. The official pointed out that intelligent and analysts firmly believed the rogue regime was attempting to deceive the U.S. That's right, man. Okay, because, hey, man, because these other nations, man, all right, they, hey, they, they're fed, they fed up with so-called white men, all right? Okay, hey, and the scriptures tell you, man, there's a time, there's a time for everything, man. Okay, and the Lord, you help us from side. Okay, it's time, it's time for the so-called white man to be back in his his position on the planet Earth, which is the base of man. Okay, all right. It says work is ongoing to deceive U.S. on the number of facilities, the number of weapons, the number of missiles. The official said we are watching closely. 
All right, why? Because the so-called white man wants control over all your um your weapons, man. Okay, ultimately wants control over all your resources, man. Why? Because he doesn't have any resources, okay? All right, and his power relies in taking uh, on deceiving the nations. Matter of fact, let me let me grab that in Habakkuk, okay? Because the scriptures tell you that, man. You know, I'll grab that in Habakkuk real quick. This is Habakkuk chapter two. Um. Let me see. Con, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 15. Woe unto you, and woe means death and destruction. Woe unto him, the so-called white man, that giveth his neighbor drink, right? These philosophies, all right? Okay, idolatry, or, or, adultery, all these, you know, fornication, and so forth and so on, all right? Which is what? To deceive uh, uh, the nations, man. That puttest thy bottle to him and maketh him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness, man. All right? Hey, so the Lord aid. Hey, the Lord is going to uh, reward you uh, uh, double, man. The scriptures tell you that. Okay, let me grab that in Limitations. Let me close out. All right. This is Limitations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunk and right. So I just brought out earlier. Okay, woe to him that have uh, uh, given his neighbors a uh, uh, wine to drink and that he may see his nakedness. Well, look, the scripture says rejoice and be glad. So yeah, rejoice now. All right. Uh, this is your, this is your rulership. This is your power. See, okay. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, but real soon the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh is going to send his son back. All right. To break up this third world's war out in the uh, valley of Yahweh Shepot. Okay. Which is the Lord's judgment. All right. And, and you, and ye shall fight against him, <laughs> but ye shall not prevail. <laughs> okay. It says, I rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunk and right. So you're going to drink of that same cup, man. And thou shalt make thyself naked. Okay. Hey, hey, the scriptures tell you thy same, that shame shall be seen. All right. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, man. Yea, and I will take hold of thee. I will not meet thee as a man. That's your house shot. And that's written in the book of uh, Isaiah, man. Okay. 47 chapter, third verse. Okay. And shall make thyself naked. Verse 22. That's the point. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, right? This is why, because the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai, set all this up, man. Okay? So it's just say, uh, uh, rejoice and be glad, because what? This is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations. So the Lord is determined, man. Okay, so all this uh, denuclearization, all right? When they shall say peace, then shall uh, uh, destruction come, all right? Okay, so so the Lord is determined to do this, man. This is the counsel of the Lord. Okay, so your counsel is going to come to naught, but the Lord, Yahweh Shemeshai, shall prevail, man. Okay, because what? He ruleth in the kingdom of men. All right, and, and, and the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord, man. All right. And hey, behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon, me, are upon uh, the ways of men, beholding good and evil, man. Proverbs 15 and 3. Okay. It says, uh, therefore, wait ye upon me. Right, so we're commanded to wait on the Lord. We don't have any power, man. The only power we have is a sword which is the scriptures, the word of the Most High. But real soon, the Lord is going to vamp us up, man. All right, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up unto the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. All right, so the Lord is doing this, man. Okay, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Hold on, I got another precept. This is... um. This is Zephaniah chapter 1. Let me get straight to the point. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse, I'm going to start at verse 15. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men. Because they have sinned against the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Neither shall their silver, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy rendance of all them that dwell in the land, man. All right, so call Halal Yahweh Shai, man, because his judgment, all right, is his judgment will be done, man, okay, here on the planet Earth, all right. Okay, and you people will understand that the Lord Yahweh Shai is our power, man, okay, all right, and he will defend us, man. 
All right, so Lord's will, you know, this was edifying to the house of David, but y'all shall die with die. All right, call her lawyer and lawyer Howard, Bashamia was shy, double honors to my apostles, elders of Great Millstone, senior citations to the elect, shalom.